Hi, this is Holland Martin from Channel 27 News and Entertainment. And today I'm with local area wrestlers that advanced uh, in, the, in the postseason. Um, first, we have uh, Kimani Howard. He's visiting us from uh, the Kokomo area. Uh, Kimani, welcome to the show. Thank you. We got JC Hernandez, the uh, outstanding wrestler from Oak Hill. He ex uh, went all the way to the regionals. Welcome to the show. Next, we have Kanan Malone Johnson and Greg Johnson. Kanan went all the way to semi-state, and Greg went all the way to regional. Then we have Dalen Johnson. Dalen, you went all the way to semi-state as well? Yes, sir. All right. Congratulations. We have Jaquan Williams. He finished off in the uh, semi-sectional semi, uh, finals. Welcome, guys. Uh, Let's go through and uh, introduce yourselves. Let's start with uh, the guys that went all uh, the farthest. Let's go with uh, Kanan and Greg. All right, my name is Kanan. Just tell the people about yourself. What have you been doing since uh, school ended? Well, first of all, what was your record in wrestling, Kanan? Uh, my record was 32 and 8. Mm -hmm. What would you say your hardest opponent was? Opponent. His name was Zion. He's from Peru. All right. And uh, what do you see for coming uh, this next wrestling season? You got some goals to attain? Trying to get to state even further? And my goal this year is just to be a state qualifier. To win state now. Sounds good. Uh, all right, let's move on over to Greg. Uh, got Greg Johnson here, incoming senior. Uh, you went all the way to regional. What was one of your toughest matches this year? Um, my toughest match was the Western match against the Western kid. Okay. They got pretty good wrestlers over there? Yeah. Good. What kind of season you see for yourself? You want to, Obviously, you want to get deeper into the sectional and the regionals and uh, get a you know, medal up there at Banker's Life, I know. Yes. Good, good. All right, let's he's on over to Dalen. Now, Dalen, you got an interesting position because your dad is the coach. Yes, so how, how's that dynamic being at school, at home? Uh, just plus minuses of it. You know, I get to hear a little more. Yeah. You know, for practice, get a little more fatigue for, you know, what I do right. But, you know, that's good. Good. What what was the feeling like going extend going all the way into uh, deeper into the tournament? Uh, it felt good. The quality of athlete. What? The quality of the athlete. How uh, is it higher? Difficult? More difficult for you? Yes, sir. Definitely. All right. Now, what kind of goals do you have coming in? Uh, you're a senior, actually, right? Yes. So, what are you going to be doing after high school? Uh, Manchester University. Well, couldn't hear you. Manchester. Okay, Manchester's a good school up there. Do yep. you have a good wrestling program? Are you going to be wrestling up there? Yes, good, good. All right. Farther enough away, but still close enough for you to come on back. Yeah. Right, let's ease on up to Jaquan Williams. Jaquan, you were what made it fifth in the sectionals? All right, what was one of your toughest matches all year? Um, my toughest match I faced him two times this season. I used to go to highest from Greentown, pretty sure. So okay. What I love about you guys is you know you basically go to cream of the crop, and we got a other some other guys that were missing. I mean, you know, Fox and Glass, and uh, of course. Collar Funk's probably number one around uh, the Grand County area. But uh, we want to wish those guys well, even though they're not here. Uh, but with you guys, talk about the training and the dedication it takes to be a wrestler. I mean, the cutting the weight, the diets, the yo-yos, the ripping and running and sweating. Talk about some of those stories. I mean, can it get to be uh, tough on your bodies? Uh, yeah, sometimes, like, when we like like overweight, 
be at I, me. I'd be putting like sweatshirts and sweatpants on, like just like, like running in the pool area, or just be or just be running up and down the hallways or around the school. Mm -hmm. Just a twenty-four hour, constantly looking at the weights, the scales, this, that, and the other. Yeah. Some of the other guys chime in. Uh, cutting weight, you know, better, you know, work hard all week. Cutting weight, and once you step on that stuff on Saturday, it's one of the best I've ever make. Yeah. We're chopping in and out a little bit, but we'll we'll work. We'll, we'll do our best. Um, JC, what about you? What type of things do you do in the off season as far as uh, training and dedication to uh, getting better? You're probably the best wrestler in that Oak Hill area. I know you got a brother coming up. It's going to be pretty tough, too. But you're probably you're going to be the number one guy, I think, for the next couple of years. What type of dedication and training and focus does that take? Uh, over the off season, uh, we – well, our team, uh, they open up open mats, and we – a lot of the top guys on our team go to those, and we we usually uh, hang out together sometimes and work out, practice mm -hmm. together. On our All right, that's good, man. Good. All right, so tell me about the schoolwork during this quarantine. What type of are you guys doing schoolwork? What's going on? Computer yeah. stuff. Uh, what is it? It's a lot of school. Like it's really it's really overwhelming about the amount of schoolwork you really get because you gotta focus on schoolwork and then like you got other things to do. Like with yeah. some people during the um during the break, like we gotta work and stuff, we gotta be able to make money and come home and have to do homework. That, that's true. That's true. I I know it's it's kinda tough. Uh, but now they're opening up, you know, things are opening back up. I'm looking to get back on the uh football field here real soon. I can't wait. Man. I know y'all can't, <laughs> can't wait either. So really, uh, Dalen, you're the only senior on here, pretty much. Okay, that's good. We got the future is bright. I'm glad to see that. Okay, so let's let's go into that uh, quarantine stuff. I mean, uh, you can only play so many video games. You can only, you know, clean your room so dang much. How are you guys, uh, you know, passing the time? Besides like schoolwork, me, I just be doing what my mom was telling me to do. Just cut the yard or do something. That's, that's pretty much it, man. You know, make leaves. Go ahead. Go ahead. Would uh, chime in to some of you guys. What you've been doing? To keep your mind busy uh, doing all this stuff. Actually, me, me, Greg, and my uh, friend Trevor, we all started a, a business, lawn care business. Okay. Let me send out all right there, all the posters. Dude, I mean, it's a lot of good stuff like that. I mean, that's the basic thing to do is cut grass and, you know, work at, you maybe get a job sacking groceries or something, but really not too much you guys could do, you know, being so young, still being students and all that. Uh, JC, you got anything you're doing over the uh, summer? Anything like that? I've been doing a lot of Yard work in the hand in our house recently. That's been keeping us. Have to speak up a little bit. Uh, we've been doing a lot of yard work and landscaping. That's been keeping us busy around the house. Yeah, that seems to be the main thing. I've been doing a lot of that too. Uh, all right, now let's go into summer break. Now, Dalen, you're going to. Uh, you're all got your graduation stuff all settled, and you're ready to go on to Manchester. Yes, now, sir. Uh, what are they going to be doing for graduation? What's the final verdict on that? Uh, I do not know. I heard it was virtual or a tour of the city. I don't know. I do, and I do want to uh, give a shout out to all the uh, people that are, you know, first responders, the essential workers that are keeping everybody safe during all this uh, corona quarantine. I mean, the coaches, administrators, teachers, the students themselves, uh, everybody's working together to get this uh, out of the way. Also, staying out of trouble. You guys want to definitely stay out of trouble. Uh, so I want to ask this about all you wrestlers. Uh, do any of you guys have the inclination to expand that into MMA? 
you know, a lot of uh, mixed oh, martial artists start off mm -hmm. as none, none, none. Wow. I've thought about it a couple times because even before I wrestled, I've thought about it. I have family that's been in, like, that does MMA. It's mm -hmm. always been something that's been on my mind. Yeah. I mean, a, a lot of those mixed martial artists start off as wrestlers in high school, rolling on, and but that's good. I mean, to each his own. Uh, so for the, you, the rest of you guys up there, what about fall sports? You uh, football? football? I will be football. I know that. Our I'm school, in. our school, we got Western first game of the season. Okay. On and the 21st of August. And you guys play Marion as well, I think. Yeah, we got Marion, Plymouth. We got Marion, Plymouth, Arsenal Tech. Okay. All of them. So it's going to be pretty good. Uh, JC, do you play football for uh, Oak Hill? Uh, no, I've never really been – I've never gotten into that. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with it. You're the number one guy in wrestling over there. And uh, you guys got a great athletic program, I just want to say, with uh, basketball, uh, swimming, wrestling, and track. Oak Hill's got a great program over there. I want to give Coach Fagan and the guys over there some kudos. Um, was talking to us about some other stuff. Any of you guys watch the Jordan documentary? What you think about that? See, you got the shirt on over there. Hmm. What do you think about that Jordan documentary? Oh, oh, oh. LeBron. Who is it? Who's, who's the number one? Who do you got? Kobe. Uh, I can't see that right now. I can't uh, see that right now. Kobe. I, I, I got Kobe so number one. Away. I got to go with Kobe. I got to go with Kobe. 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 Mm -hmm. Gotta go with Kobe. I'm sorry. Sorry. Jordan is a bad boy. I mean, LeBron. LeBron. Uh, I don't think he got it right yet, but <laughs> he'll get there. He'll get there. Hey, what about Zion getting sued for a hundred million? That's, <laughs> that's all. That's hundred million first year in. Yeah, it's, mm. it's, it's awful crazy. Jeez. You know what I'm saying. All right. He already well, getting the money. It's crazy. <laughs> all right. Well. We're not going to keep you too long. In closing, we just want to round out. Uh, again, we want to thank Kimani, JC, Kanan, and Greg, Jaquan, and Dalen for joining us. We want to wish you well on your way to Manchester. And you guys, on your fall sports, uh, stay safe over the summer. Uh, we want to thank everybody for coming. Also, we want to reach out to other athletes, Ms. Sinwall, Madison Grant. You know, I hear oh, they have yeah. a great strength program over there. Coach Massey and Coach Turner are turning it up over there. Miss Cinema always has a great strength and conditioning program with Coach Greentree. Uh, but in closing, I want to thank you guys for coming on. Be good. We'll see you later. Yes, All right, bye. Yeah. bye.